What's up? It's me, Looks by Lottie, and welcome to today's video. If this is your first time seeing my face, then welcome. I'm so glad that you're here today. If this is your second, third, fourth, however many times coming back, then welcome back. It's so good to see you again. So I've had to put some video ideas on hold because life happens. I just got a second job, so like even my like creating schedule is kind of all warped and shifted, so that's not fun. It's currently um, 10.21 p.m. on Monday, and I have my first shift at Starbucks tomorrow. I'm not gonna be able to go home in between, so I'm gonna be very tired, so I'm just pushing out the content. But I you guys on my Instagram stories what you would want to see me just like kind of just do my makeup and just talk about kind of like a commentary style video but you guys had some other ideas my friend Kylie told me that I should talk about some of my dating plunders and from my limited time being on the market again I've had some really interesting experiences so today I've narrowed down three different stories from when I was newly single to talk to you guys about today I made some stupid decisions at least stupid decisions with the guys I chose to go on dates with. Let me just prime my eyes real quick just with some concealer, nothing fancy. Today we're going into the Amrezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and my goal is to create a halo eye with a nude lip. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so as quite a bit of people know, I was in a relationship for a very, very long time, like right as Tinder and Bumble and like dating apps were becoming a thing. So I had never experienced it until I ended that relationship with that said person. And so how how men acted on apps, like I, I saw like, you know, like Tinder nightmares and stuff like that, but I never really thought that it would become a reality for me. There was one date I actually just remember this was probably like my first like it wasn't a real day I guess but I decided to go on like a walk near the river walk that I actually just moved to and he showed up hungover from the night before um and I was like mm, kind of not cool if you ask me but that was the extent of that but my first one that I want to talk extensively about is a guy that we're gonna call truck and you'll know why in a second. So my first date date after becoming newly single ended up being on my 24th birthday. And this was before the pandemic. So this is like in August 2019. And I had literally like matched him like earlier that day. Like he like, we we're just kind of like talking whatever. And he's like, hey, do you want to go out? And I was like, whoa, whoa, red alert. So I'm like, why is he trying to be like so pushy and go out like, I mean, not like immediately, but like pretty quickly. And usually for me, it takes at least like two to three weeks for me to get to know a guy before I want to hang out with him. Like minimum a week, maximum like two or three. And meeting somebody that day, especially after the relationship that I was in, really stressed me out. And I was like, no, like I think that's moving too fast. But he was like, well, I'm only in town for the day. We can go wherever you want. I'm like from out of town he convinced me to go out with him and i was so nervous because i'm like this random stranger is taking me out on my birthday and i didn't tell him it was my birthday until a little later because i didn't want him to like make a big deal out of it i'm like one of those people when it comes to birthdays i was like okay like he's a he's a cute little southern blonde boy what's the worst that can happen so he comes to pick me up in a black pickup truck and i'm like oh lord because i'm sorry if you're out there and you like pickup trucks i hate them I understand the purpose for them if you like are on a farm or like work like on a farm or like move around a lot of lumber but like why would you need it like for any other reason they just use up a lot of gas and they're just kind of ugly oh yeah i forgot to mention he wanted to pick me up like at my apartment and i was like uh that's how murders happen so um i was at my old apartment then and it was really complicated to get through there anyway so i said to meet up at like my leasing office which kind of looks like a clubhouse and so i drove my car over there and parked and waited for him and then here it comes in the big old truck yee-haw don't worry for those of you who are like you shouldn't have a guy pick you up on the first date i did have a weapon on me i'm not gonna say what it was but i was prepared to fight i always have a backup plan so like i said he let me choose a place to eat because he wasn't really from the area so he didn't know what was good and i chose my favorite tex-mex place because i was like well it's my birthday you know i'm gonna choose somewhere i like and then i told him in the car that it was my birthday and i I guess he really didn't make that big of a deal about it, which I was like, fine, okay, whatever. But then when we got there, like, you know, we 
sat down and I was like, oh, what are you thinking of getting? He's like, oh, I'm not gonna get anything. I'm like, you're not gonna eat on a date? It was so weird. He's like, no, I'm not hungry. Then like, why are you taking me out to lunch on a date, you know? I need to do my eyeliner. I can't talk and do it at the same time. Give me one second, please. So yeah, literally all he got was like a glass of water with ice. And I felt like, you know, a fatty because I was, you know, having some tacos. I even got some like chips and queso and he didn't even eat any of it. Like if nothing else, you gotta at least have a chip or two. That's like the rules. And not only did he eat, but like he was also on his phone the entire time. Like he said that he was like getting like texts from his managers and he even got a call from them like while we were on the date i was like i know you're here like in my town for business but like that's like super rude like i would never on all the dates that i've gone on i keep my phone like in my pocket i might keep it on the table just in case but i never like text somebody back unless i'm like hey i need to like text a friend back just so they know that i'm okay like i never take a phone call oh my gosh i was so rude luckily he was nice enough to pay which you know kind of bare minimum if you ask me and so let's go off in the comments i'll just block you but honestly i was just like so upset but it was like such a bad awkward date if any like asked if like i wanted to go to the movies with him afterwards and i'm like well no i have plans which technically i did have plans i plans to go out to a rooftop bar with my friends later on because it was my birthday and i wanted to celebrate so i was like yeah i have to go home i have to get ready they want me there at a certain time because we're gonna like you know do a little pre-gaming and then while he was taking me home he was like trying to get in my apartment and i'm like dude i'm i'm going through a divorce right now i'm sleeping on a mattress and he was like well i don't care yada 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 and that like <sighs> my anxiety was through the roof with that one i was just like no 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 no. and he kept on pushing it and eventually he got the message and i was just like yeah i I mean, I didn't tell him I didn't want to see him again, but I think me not like responding to him or talking to him afterwards kind of gave him that message. I think like a month later, he texted me saying that he was in town. I ignored it. I think maybe like 10, 11 months, it was like over the summer of 2020, we matched and he was like, oh yeah, we hung out before. And I'm like, we did? And he's like, yeah. And I looked at his photo and I was like, oh no, immediate unad on Tinder. So yeah, that was truck. All right, so the next guy we're gonna talk about we're gonna call him Fedora. And it's for the reason you'd expect. I guess I can't talk too much smack on the concept of fedoras because my cat's middle name is literally Fedora, but it's a Vine reference, okay? Hey everybody's Jacob. So I matched with Fedora like around the same time, like August, 2019, around my birthday. Actually, I think I went on a date with him maybe one or two days after I went on the date with Truck. So he had just moved in the area. Um, he was in the Air Force. I guess he still might be in the Air Force, but there is an Air Force base about it was like about 30 minutes from downtown and I guess my area has like the biggest military base in all the United States I didn't even know until like maybe couple weeks ago. But now it makes sense why so many men that I matched with on these dating sites are military because it's like half of the demographic around here. But um, he seemed nice. He's like kind of like the one you take home to mom, I guess. He had literally been like here for two weeks maybe. And I think he said he'd been on like one other day, but it was like kind of near their air base. And so this would be his first one like downtown. I was like, sure, let's go. I'm kind of excited. We both picked somewhere that we had never been before. At this point, I have been in town for almost two years. So I thought I had a decent idea of where everything was. Turns out I was wrong. There's a lot that I've missed out on. So went there. He was a little bit shorter than I thought, although I technically didn't ask him until like five minutes before I left to go on the date because I'm 5'9", which I feel like is fairly tall for a girl. And he was like one inch taller than me. And I usually like to look up at guys I'm like romantically interested in. I don't know, it's a thing. So we go in, we get seated, we're talking and he, uh, oh gosh, I think I had talked to him about my divorce and he was like I think he said something along the lines of like it's a name on your Facebook profile your married name or your birth name but like that's the thing he had told me he had Facebook stalked me but I never told him my last name so he <laughs> which is red flag red flag red flag so like okay <laughs> I feel like in this day and age it is important to look up the person that you are going on a date with but usually like before I go on dates I ask for the person's last name or some form of social media so I can see their face. Doesn't matter if it's Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram, that all gives me a good idea. So if he was like, hey, what's your last name? I wanna go ahead and look you up to see if you're like a real person, I would have been okay with that. But the fact that he just took the time to figure out my last name like on his own. A similar situation happened to a friend of mine when she went to a record shop and the cashier was able to look her up on Facebook even though her dad paid with his credit card, he took the last name of a credit card and found my friend on Facebook. Men really have the audacity. So that was like strike one for me. I was like, okay, this is a little strange. You also like seen pictures of me like with my ex because at the time I had still had them up because like the divorce was like, I mean, it wasn't official, but it was like, you know, a few weeks out, but I kicked him out. And you know, there are probably some of my family members that didn't even know. Give me a second. <laughs> So even though that was kind of weird, I mean, he was like nice and fun to talk to. He talked about like his time like with the Air Force and we were talking about that and I was like talking about school. And so I decided I'm like, okay, well the Facebook thing was weird, but you know, let's keep it going. Let's go get some beers. I love me a good sour beer. If you watch my love it or leave it video this month, I had an Edmund's host in hand, but the town I live in has a lot of breweries. So we just went to like a local place and I had been there like once or twice before. so I kind of knew what they had on the menu and whatnot. But at the time, I was quite a bit of lightweight, so I was feeling kind of loosey-goosey, you know, a little flowy woey like after one drink. And so, you know, I was kind of being a little goofster, you know, making jokes, being chill. Like, I was aware of everything that was going on still, but, you know, some things kind of took me a while to process, for example. <laughs> the second thing he did that was kind of like a strike too in my book was he, he went up to go to the bathroom and he kissed the top of my forehead like right here I was like huh it was very strange because it was like I mean like if I had been dating somebody or been gone on a couple dates with a guy like then that'll be okay but the fact that he was just like doing that right away I was like whoa I am not your girl you just met me off the internet today so that was scary he also later on when we were talking took my hand like the back of my hand and kissed it like my princess or something oh I forgot to mention something the reason why I call him fedora is because before I like started kind of feeling loosey-goosey he had told me to look him up on Facebook so I could, you know, get his last name and stuff. And I found a picture of him, a recent photo, like 2016, 2017, in a fedora, like, but like, if you, are, no, if you see that hat, there are implications of the kind of person that you are. That is somebody that I did not want in my life. So in that moment, we had kind of had three strikes right there. I went home. I think we went on a date like on a Friday night and he wanted me to visit him in the barracks of his base, like on the following Monday, which ladies, gents and everybody in between. Do not go to the barracks on a date. Barracks are dirty. They're like dorms, but worse. I did not want to become a barracks funny so I wasn't really feeling it I was like I would rather like go somewhere and then on one of those days during the weekend either Saturday or Sunday he had told me how he like was okay with like spanking his children and I'm like mmm as a child that was spanked that left emotional damage so I wasn't really about that. The Monday came around and I was just feeling really anxious and so I canceled on him and he was like, oh, that's okay. And then I never talked to him again, probably for the best. So this last date that I wanna talk about is probably, well, I've, I've had some weird dates, but this guy was probably one of the more unique ones, I guess. So after that, there's a guy that I was seeing for a couple months that was actually from the same Air Force base who was deployed. And he was like, you know, when I go on deployment, like I'm not gonna be upset if you like go on dates with other guys. Like, you know, you can do what you want. And I'm like, great. Thanks. So I matched with this one guy and he kind of looked like Dan from Gossip Girl in a way. Um, turned out that he didn't exactly look like him, but it was close enough, you know? Also, um, there is a really big university um, in the town that I currently live in and he was in medical school there. And I was like, cha-ching, get my money. And we had talked for a little while. He was, he was kind of unique. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and hang out. You seem nice enough. He told me that he really liked sushi. And so I was like, okay, I know of a sushi place that I've been to a handful of times that's kind of close to my apartment let's go there and so we did he was fairly cute dark haired tall he was obviously like very into me like very into me which it feels good to you know have people be like oh you're so pretty you know boost my ego a little bit I don't know if simping was a word back in 2019 but he was definitely simping. Our conversations kind of got a little weird after that. He had expressed to me that he wanted to have babies with me. 
And let me tell you guys, I wanna have babies someday, hopefully, but I don't wanna have babies with somebody that I went on one date with, you know? I'm not gonna rag on people that do, but I personally don't want a baby until I get married again. Me and my husband make a good salary, we have a house, and we have a dog in that order. I just feel like for me personally, that would be the best way for me to bring a child into this world with all that stability, for me personally. I mean, technically there's like no perfect time to bring in a kid that's like, when you know, you know. But for me, that would be perfect. But even after I was like, no, I don't wanna have babies with you, he was still pretty persistent. Despite the fact that I was making less than 40K at that time, and he, since he was in medical school, was making zero K. Nada. I think we hung out like lunch after that, but then the pandemic hit and I just kind of lost interest because I'm like, I don't want to have babies and that's like all you talk about with me. Still to this day, I get messages about it from him. It's not going to happen. Oh, hey, while I was editing this, I forgot that there was a big part of the story that made it super weird and was a big reason why I didn't talk to him again. So it's weird enough for a guy to want to have babies with me after one date, right? Right. But I asked him why he wanted to have kids with me, as one would do. First, he thought that I would be a good mother. Not really something you can tell after one date, but okay. But then, he also mentioned that I had, um, desirable features. For example, my blue eyes, my blonde hair, my facial structure, my fair skin. Yeah. So that kind of gave me some undercover races vibes. So those are my three Tinder fail weird dating stories. I'll try and get cute and I will do my outro. All right, so we have our finished look with the Amrezy palette. Amrezy, Amrezy, Amrezy palette. What are we thinking? I'm gonna bring it in close so you guys can see. I think this look is super pretty. It was pretty easy to do too, but I know it's gonna stain like a bit. Hopefully the story wasn't too crazy for you guys. I have quite a few more stories, but I wanted to stick with three to start to see if you guys like this style of video. If you do, go ahead and tell me in the comments which guy you think was the craziest, truck, fedora, or doctor. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna continue supporting me, make sure to leave a like, a comment, go ahead and subscribe, and make sure that your notifications are turned on so you know whenever I upload a new video. Before we go, a silly little thing that I wanna start, I have like a bunch of Bath & Body Works scents that I kinda collect. I used to work there back in 2016, and so I've just kind of gathered a whole bunch of scents. But I want to do like a scent of the day. I know in my upcoming BoxyCharm video that I don't have one because I pre-filmed that one, but I wanted to go ahead and start it today. So today's scent of his day is Sugared Cherry Crisp. This fine mist smells exactly like a cherry pie. I don't know what they put in it, but it's just like so scrumptious. And I think this came out in the fall winter of last year, so 2020. You can correct me though if I'm wrong. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you like this new style of video. It was kind of fun to create and kind of just remember some of those crazy dates that I had. Anyways, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>